guys, Jimmy Chang here with Andrew. Welcome back to Freshly Charged, where we review personal electric vehicles like this electric bike by Ride One Up. This is the brand new Rev One. This is Ride One Up's first moto inspired moped type e bike. It's their first 52 volt e bike and their first bike with a bigger display. In this video, we are going to unbox it, set it up, take it for a test spin, and tell you guys what we think of this bike. Sweet looking tire on that. Wow, look at this. It's a nice packaging job. <laughs> look at this tire. Yeah, we've Ooh. never seen this tire tread on an e-bike we've reviewed. That is beefy. And this is the Rev1 full suspension version. They do have a hardtail version. So we just tear open one side. And... Oh, it did have one of those packaging that we could have just pulled off the plastic clips. If you guys get this, don't do what we just did. You can actually just pull off these clips here and just lift the box up and out and over the bike. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, so a lot of paper, fewer zip ties, and the zip ties that they have used are green. So in general, they're trying to go green with this package. <laughs> Different box, this is nice. So there's instruction manual, a beanie. This bike is a 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery, 58.8 output with a four amp output. This should take you five hours to charge from empty to full. No, oh, that's impressive. Okay, good. I thought they switched these for the cheap tools. They did keep the same Allen keys that they've had with the other Ride One Up bikes. These are high quality. This tire is sweet. It's a Bethang rim, so it's an actual rim, not just spokes. This tire reminds me of the ones you see on the Super 73 bikes. It's a 20 by four inch tire, but it looks wider than four inches because of that sweet tread on there. This is the first time looking at this display. We're used to Ride One Up having those small grayscale displays. It'll be interesting to see what this one looks like. I do like the color. I mean, this color is like a black green, like yeah. really dark green with a little bit of a matte finish. This bike is a really good looking bike. D&M air suspension in the rear. Oh, heavy duty. Heavy duty. The more we put this together, the more this looks like some of the Super 73 e-bikes that are out there. Kind of that Moto style e-bike. Oh, a good looking bike. So are we done? Um, I think so. This is probably the easiest bike we've had from Ride One Up to assemble. Usually bikes from Ride One Up, there are a lot of different parts that you have to put together. Not so with this one. Okay, I lied. We still have to put on this fender. So one more fender to put on. We've got the fender on. And now we're cooking with electricity. It is already freshly charged. Okay. Well, that's a good looking display and it's already on Pedal Assist 5, so it must have some sort of memory. Yeah. That's a good thing. We love e-bikes with memory. Okay, we've got it all set up. It's all charged. It's ready to go. Now we're going to do a walkthrough from top to bottom so you guys can know all about the Rev 1 from Ride One Up. This frame reminds me of a motorcycle more than anything. Twist throttle on the right. So it is a single speed. Ride one up. One of the few companies that allows you to use the throttle in pedal assist zero. Horn, turn signals. And we've got turn signals in front and back. These hydraulic brake levers are connected to four piston hydraulic brakes. So that is a huge plus. We normally see two piston hydraulic brakes and most of the time mechanical brakes. So four piston hydraulic brakes on this is gonna be great for stopping power. Three and a half inch display. This is the first time we've ever seen a display like this on the Ride One Up bike. Another hydraulic brake lever. And these are really cool because you can see the amount of mineral oil inside of them. So mm -hmm. there's a little window to look at the mineral oil. 120 millimeter. Air suspension in the front, metal fender, big and beefy light, 20 by four inch street tires that have some knobbies on them. I do love these Bafang alloy rims, 180 millimeter brake disc with four piston hydraulic brakes. We have the battery stored up top. To slide it out, just unlock it and it comes right off. 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery, 1,040 watt hours. Inside this Bafang alloy rim, is a 750 watt motor sustained with 90 Newton meters of torque. DNM air suspension, 
This is sweet. This is one of the higher quality air suspensions we've seen on a full suspension e-bike in this type of genre. Really cool cutouts. You see that Ride One Up logo? Comfy seat. This seat is really nice. Is these, these are always on, right? Mm -hmm. Looks like they're always on, whether you turn on the light or not. And then let's see what happens when you brake. So it does get brighter. We are now going to get our safety gear on so we can take it for a test. All right, got the safety gear on and we have the Rev 1 out on the trail. Andrew, what are your first impressions so far? <laughs> it's a sweet bike. Great suspension, fast, once I unlocked it to off-road mode. But overall, a really sweet bike. As the usual, we're gonna ride it around, we're gonna take brakes, and when we take our brakes, we're gonna tell you guys what we love about this bike, what we hate about it, and who we think should get it. One of the things I already like is this tail light. Man, that thing is bright. Stands out. And then brake for us a little bit. Yeah, so you can see that. Shows the, the turn signals in the bright light. Impressive. Let's see the signals in the front. Yeah, that's, that's really admirable. So it has been really wet this season. I don't know about you guys, but this winter has been cold and snowy. And because of that, the trails that we normally ride, they are wet. And so we try to avoid them as much as possible so we don't damage them. But sometimes you can't just help but go on some of these wet trails. And there are advantages of having a bike like this. These fat tires rock. We're used to the knobby fat tires. This is more of a hybrid fat tire. So it works great on smooth pavement, but the treads are amazing and it's a softer compound. So when I was just trying to do like a, a tail whip with a rear end, it was, I could still do it, but there was a lot more traction and I could feel the tires were doing a great job. Let's keep riding. Let's still go test out the suspension up ahead on some of these large potholes that we usually come across. Like that pothole right there on a lot of these moped style e-bikes, they bottom out all the time. You hear crunch, crank, crunch. This one, as you can hear, is near quiet. The suspension on this is amazing. The front suspension and the front suspension has 120 millimeters of travel, and the rear suspension is an air suspension, which works excellent. Right, a big one. <laughs> and potholes never look as big in camera as they do in real life. <laughs> These are some big potholes that we're coming across, and yeah, I'm just from me watching you, you are just soaking those up on the bike, and the bike is not making the normal clinks and clanks and chunks and clunks like it, like some of the other bikes do when we go over those potholes. More inferior suspension, such as the coil suspensions, you're, they're gonna bottom out. You're gonna, it's gonna be more noisy. This, however, is a, a superior suspension. Why don't we pull up ahead and let's talk about the things that we like about this bike. The overall construction of this bike is really nice. A lot of these batteries, they're sitting on a plastic slide kit, and so they're exposed. This has metal tubular framing around all of it and a bottom piece underneath it, so you'll never have to worry about the battery falling out of place when you're riding. Metal fenders are amazing. A lot of these e-moped style e-bikes, the fenders are so big, so a lot of the companies cheap out and use plastic components on there. The four piston hydraulic brakes, they're great for stopping power. Woo! <laughs> Those are great. The brakes work well, but my favorite part is how soft and grippy the tires are. The tires are my favorite I've seen on an e-moped style e-bike. And then there's air suspension in the rear. And they say there's air suspension in the front, but I can't see uh, air input. So I think it's more hydraulic suspension, but we'll try to figure out exactly what's going on there and clarify. I also love that this is a US based company so that if you need help, you can just call up their customer support or email them and you can know that they're here in the USA. So I love when bikes use alloy rims rather than spokes. It does make it a lot heavier, but overall it just adds to the look. Headlight looks great on this bike. Cable management, pretty good. You can get the cable wrap and wrap these up as well. Cause I do love that they have quick disconnects for easy replacement parts if you ever have to do any type of repairs. So it's just disconnect that bad component or component that's broken and 
easily replaced. The display looks really nice. It looks great in direct sunlight. How does the ride feel? What do you think of that? It's amazing. It's really soft, plush. It feels great that I can lock it out if I want to do a speed run or I can leave it soft and plush when I'm on trails that are bumpy and have potholes. And then I do love that you can unlock this into off-road mode. The best part about this bike is that I don't have to pedal to get it to 28 miles per hour plus. I can use the throttle and I've got, with throttle only, I've hit 31 miles per hour and I'm sure I could go faster on this straightaway. All right, we're gonna do a quick speed run here, see how fast this thing accelerates. So let's go ahead and let this rip. I kept up with him for a while there, but he's booking it. I'm excited to see how fast he was going. So the speedometer said max 36.7 miles per hour, and that's what the display shows. It says max speed 36, so pretty accurate. Wow. Usually the speedometer on these devices tend to overestimate how fast you're going. This case, it's spot on. For a single 750 watt rated motor, that's impressive. To go 36 miles an hour, but you also have to count it's not just this motor. It was this motor that was going. <laughs> he was pedaling hard. All right, let's go to our next stop and let's talk about the things that we don't like about this bike. All right, Andrew, Andrew, you look like you're having way too much fun. We got to switch. I need to, I need to ride this thing a little bit. Let me give you the electric unicycle. This thing looks pretty darn fun. Now it's my turn. Whee! I love it. The motor and pedal assist five is darn peppy. I mean, you pedal a little bit and boom, you're taking off. This thing combines the practicality of a bicycle and just the fun of kind of a moped motorcycle. So this, this thing is a joy. And I'm riding here on this trail. It's bumpy, it's rutted out, but this, the suspension is pretty darn amazing. I mean, if I had my choice, I definitely would pick the dual suspension. This thing is great. All right, let's talk about the things that we don't like about this bike. So this is a single speed bike. Just understand that you're not gonna be able to apply a lot of pressure into pedaling. It's a lot of throttle only. I love this display. It looks great. It's big, but it doesn't have color. And I'm in 2023 and I want a little bit of color. I think of the practicality of this bike. It's very practical using this to get to the store, take kids to the school, go to school, go to work. One of the problems though is there's no way to really lock it with the keyed ignition, keyed start or keyed off. It's the sweetest e-moped style bike that I've ridden just because of the high quality suspension, tires, and overall design and geometry. However, I wish this was offered in a dual motor option. Get the bumpy road, woo! Who should get this bike? I think if you're looking for something that's fun, and practical this is it i'm having a great time want to look cool but you don't have a license this is for you thanks for watching and when you guys ride wear your safety gear